एटीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय फरजाना खान फर्स्ट हेडलाइंस President has urged international community to take notice of recent incidents of illegal selling of uranium in black market in India. Foreign minister has termed Indian prime minister's meeting with Kashmiri leaders as a mere drama that produced nothing. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one Kashmiri youth during a violent cordon and search operation in Shopian district today. Foreign minister says the government will focus on growth strategy to create new job opportunities and enhance the income levels of the people. Pakistan has reiterated its commitment to forging a broad-based and long-term bilateral relationship with the United States. Afghanistan's president and head of Reconciliation Council met US president in Washington today to discuss the current security situation in their country. And now the news in detail. President Dr Arif Alvi has urged international community to take note of recent incidents of illegal selling of uranium in black market in India as such radioactive material can fall into wrong hands endangering the human lives and security of the nations he made these remarks during an interactive session with the military officers from 12 foreign countries in Islamabad today the military officers are currently undergoing national security workshop course at national defense university the president highlighted pakistan's success against the war on terror saying the armed forces and the law enforcement agencies have successfully defeated terrorism he said pakistan is making serious efforts to promote peace and stability in afghanistan as it would be the major beneficiary of the peace and stability in that country the president said pakistan is poised to become a geoeconomic hub of the region by utilizing its special geoeconomic location to boost regional trade Foreign Minister Shahmeh Mud Qureshi says Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's meeting with Kashmiri leaders yesterday was a drama that produced nothing. Addressing a news conference in Islamabad today, he said the APHC leadership was not invited to the meeting. The minister said the Hurriyat leadership has been demanding resolution of the Kashmir dispute as per the UN Security Council resolutions and the aspirations of the Kashmiris and they reiterated their stance in the meeting. Shahmeh Mud Qureshi He said the Kashmiri leaders unanimously demanded reversal of India's illegal acts of August 5, 2019 and full-fledged restoration of statehood. He said Modi's illegal acts about Kashmir 2 years ago badly damaged his image within the country as well as at international level and he wanted to repair the damage through this meeting. The foreign minister said Pakistan uh, and Kashmiris were not given any solid reply to their demand. He said they were told the decision about restoration of the special status of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir will be taken at an appropriate time, which is an ambiguous statement. He said the Kashmiri leaders also demanded release of political prisoners, end to the extrajudicial killings, and reversal of the illegal universal acts. Shah Mahmood Qureshi said these demands are being made by those Kashmiri leaders who had been part of the previous governments in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. He said the Kashmiri leadership's talks after the meeting suggest that the Indian government's claim that the 5th of August 2019 steps would bring prosperity to Kashmir is completely baseless. An Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir senior APHC leader Agha Syed Hasan Al Musafi Al Safwi has said that dialogue is the only way to move forward on the Kashmir dispute delivering Friday sermon at Central Imam Barga in Badgam today he said the Kashmir dispute is a reality and durable peace and development cannot be established in the region without its amicable settlement Meanwhile Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred another Kashmiri youth during a violent cordon and search operation in Hanjipura area of Shopian district today This is Radio Pakistan giving you the news 
فورن منسٹر شاہ محمود قریشی منسٹر فار انٹر پروینشل کوآڈینیشن فہمیدہ مرزا ایم این اے سردار غوث بخش خان مہر اینڈ ممبر سندھ اسمبلی علی گوہر خان مہر کولڈ آن پرائم منسٹر عمران خان ان اسلام آباد ٹوڈے پولیٹیکل سچویشن آف سندھ دا فیڈرل گورنمنٹس آن گوئنگ پروجیکٹس ان سندھ اینڈ دا بجٹ ور ڈسکسڈ ان دا میٹنگ مین وائل ویمن پارلیمنٹرینس انکلوڈنگ سینیٹرز زرکا سہروردی تیمور فوزیہ ارشد اینڈ فلک ناز چترالی اینڈ ایم این ایز شاہین سیف اللہ تورو ملیکہ بخاری اینڈ جبیریا ظفر اہیر آلسو کولڈ آن دا پرائم منسٹر ان اسلام آباد ٹوڈے پرابلمس آف دا رسپیکٹو کانسٹیچوینسیز ڈیولپمنٹ پروجیکٹس اینڈ دا بجٹ ور ڈسکسڈ ان دا میٹنگ Finance Minister Shaukat Tareen says the government will focus on growth strategy to create new job opportunities and enhance the income levels of the people. Winding up discussion on the budget for the next fiscal year in the National Assembly today, he said we are heading towards an inclusive and sustainable growth. Shaukat Tareen also announced a series of relief measures for different sectors. He said the tax relief earlier given to the auto sector for the vehicles up to 850 cc is being extended to 1000 cc. vehicles. He said tax imposed on medical bills and GP fund is being withdrawn. The tax imposed on milk has also been waived off. He said there will be no tax on internet and SMS while only 75 pesos will be charged from the users on a call of more than 5 minutes. Turning to the power sector, the finance minister said there will be no increase in the tariff and this has also been conveyed to the IMF. Winding up debate on the budget for the next fiscal year in the Senate, Finance Minister Shaukat Tareen said no new taxes have been imposed in the budget. The minister said he did not agree to the IMF's demands for certain new taxes in the budget, including 150 billion rupees income tax. He said Federal Board of Revenue will not harass the defaulters and a third-party audit will be carried out before any arrests. Shaukat Tareen said the government is taking steps to bring another 15 million people into the tax net. He said tax on food items has been removed. He assured the House to incorporate its recommendations in the budget. Minister for Energy Hamad Azhar says the government is committed to timely completion of power projects and a China-Pakistan economic corridor. Addressing the ceremony of 660 kV Matyari Lahore High Power Transmission Line project in Islamabad today, he said this transmission line will bring stability to the power sector and provide relief to the people. He said Pakistan and China are cooperating in different sectors including health, education, power, trade and other CPEC. related projects. Speaking on the occasion, the Chinese ambassador to Pakistan, Non Rong, said this project will prove to be a milestone in the economic development. Foreign Secretary Suhail Mahmood has underlined Pakistan's commitment to forging a broad-based and long-term bilateral relationship with the United States. In a telephonic conversation with the U.S. Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs, Victoria Newland, he said structured engagement is key to the promotion of two countries' shared objectives of peace and development. Underlining Pakistan's focus on geoeconomics, the Foreign Secretary reiterated the importance of enhancing economic trade and investment ties between Pakistan and the United States. The Foreign Secretary reiterated that there is no military solution to the conflict in Afghanistan and reaffirmed Pakistan's support for the Afghan peace process. The two sides agreed to maintain close coordination on all matters of common interest. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani and head of the Reconciliation Council Abdullah Abdullah will meet with the US President Joe Biden at White House today. They will discuss the current security situation in Afghanistan as well as the nature of the US support after its military withdrawal. And finally the weather report Rain with wind and thunderstorm is expected at scattered places in Punjab, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit Baltistan and Kashmir during the next 24 hours. However, very hot and dry weather is likely to prevail in other parts of the country. To end the news, the main points once again. President has urged international community to take note of recent incidents of illegal selling of uranium in black market in India. Foreign Minister has termed Indian Prime Minister's meeting with Kashmiri leaders as a mere drama that produced nothing. 
In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one Kashmiri youth during a violent cordon and search operation in Shopaya district today. Pakistan has reiterated its commitment to forging a broad-based and long-term bilateral relationship with the United States. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistan 